Okay, then um, in my understanding, uh, there are two types of the interaction between uh, light and uh, molecules or materials. So in some cases, uh, reaction, uh, reactions are induced, meaning that some of the chemicals uh, irreversibly, irreversibly change to, into the different chemicals. And that's a uh, uh, reaction. But even if uh, such reaction doesn't happen, there's always some level of the interaction between the light and mother. And this kind of interaction is utilized for many uh, spectroscopy. And actually, uh, many analytical equipment use this kind of interaction for uh, detection of chemicals. So uh, photochemistry and spectroscopy are, are relevant to each other and so on. So here, um, briefly stop the video and think about uh, what kind of analytical equipment you can think of uh, where the of the interaction between light and matter is utilized. Okay, uh, so let's uh, check some of the answer for it. So obviously, um, UV uh, visible absorption spectrum is uh, used and here, of course, UV light and visible light and infrared. Infrared light are utilized for the uh, detection of uh, detection of the chemicals by using the light absorption. And also, uh, for example, um, you may not notice, but uh, gas chromatography or uh, liquid chromatography. Uh, of course, uh, these chromatography are uh, used for um, separation of chemicals. But thinking about the detection part, actually, in many of the chromatography, uh, use uh, the UV absorption, especially in the uh, liquid chromatography, UV absorption. And uh, for example, and uh, for other application, you can think about X ray. Um, X-ray uh, deflection, so, uh, which is um, uh, used for um, studying the structure of the crystals. Here, of course, uh, X-ray is used for the detection of the structure of the the structure of the chemicals or crystals, and also. Um, you may think um, uh, you, it's a bit different, but actually uh, EDMR, which is, uh, if you are a chemistry student, this is a general standard for detection of chemicals. In here, the magnetic field is used for splitting the energy level of nucleus, but uh, for the detection of the splitting of energy is actually uh, detected by the radio wave. Radio wave, which is basically a very long wavelength of the light. And also, uh, for example, ESR, electrons in a resonance method. Here the, the uh, radical species are detected well, the, in this analytical equipment. Uh, energy level splitting 
of electron spin, uh, electronic states due to the magnetic field is detected actually by the microwave absorption. Absorption. So uh, probably there are several others, but uh, you may notice that these spectroscopy uh, is very frequently used for the by using the interaction between the light and chemicals. Then um, this course, this course basically covers the ultraviolet and visible light and some of near infrared light. But uh, probably uh, uh, looking at this chart, you can notice that the wavelength uh, region of ultraviolet and visible is a quite limited region of in terms of the wavelengths. Here the, the rest of the, the light um, categorized was a uh, wavelength. So for the longer wavelengths, you can see electric wave, including a radio wave and microwave, which is used for heating of your food and uh, for infrared and the infrared region uh, on the order of the, the mic micrometer or in wavelengths. And then uh, all the way come here, you can see the uh, near infrared, visible and ultraviolet. And only this very small region of the wavelengths correspond to ultraviolet and visible and uh, some of near infrared. For the shorter wavelengths, you can see X-ray and you know, you may, maybe uh, many of you know the XRD, or, uh, but uh, many other X-ray absorption measurement that utilize using this wavelengths and gamma ray, which is uh, interact with uh, nu uh, nuclear. So uh, again, uh, you can notice that this uh, visible uh, ultraviolet is very limited region of the wavelengths. However, uh, this region of the light is very important. And uh, please stop the video for a while and uh, please think about why it's so important in the region of the visible or ultraviolet light. Okay. Okay. Um, probably um, some of you notice that because of visible light, why the visible is visible. This is kind of important. So visible light is the definition by human beings. The light is visible because human beings can detect the light or that wavelength region. So the light, what well, we can see light is, is uh, based on basically the sunlight. We can see the uh, most of the wavelengths of the sunlight because um, most of the living system, including uh, including human, developed uh, developed by using the sunlight. Right. This is a uh, this is a reason why this sunlight is important, and we uh, include the living system uh, mostly um, take energy from sunlight energy. That's why um, the living system need to have a response to the sunlight uh, sunlight, uh, which uh, mostly uh, cover the wavelength region is uh, visible to. <laughs> visible to uh, near infrared 
and UV is less, but uh, still some. So, and there are several uh, important uh, light induced processes in the living systems. So uh, please stop uh, the video for a while and then think about some of the example. Okay, um, so let's check some of the, the important uh, the visible light or visible light induced process mostly. So one of the things uh, one of the things uh, important process is obviously uh, photosynthesis, which is uh, basically um, leaves absorb light and the CO2 is changed to oxygen and also but also uh, uh, generate uh, energy inside the plant to grow the grow themselves and in this process the, the chlorophyll is used for the light absorbing uh, dye so chemical molecules actually and also um, some of the important process for us is probably eyesight. Again, I mentioned that visible is visible, which is the definition by people, and eyesight is um, has a some of the sensitivity to the visible light because uh, we want to have uh, some response to the sunlight. So sunlight wavelength region. That's why um, eyesight has um, sensitivity to the wavelength region of the visible region. So in this process, actually um, the photoisomerization use If you were a chemistry student, isomer, isomerization reaction or cis to trans or trans to cis, you know that. But uh, and actually, this kind of small molecular change is the initial trigger for the detection of the color, and that signal is sent to your brain to recognize the object. Here, the the rhodopsin is. used. And also um, for us, uh, you may care for, uh, for example, uh, sunbar in a skin. In this case, um, there are uh, melanin dye inside in your skin, which absorb most of the UV light and uh, change the color dark. That's why uh, you, uh, you sunburned. Basically, these dyes are believed to protect you from the UV light. And also, uh, there are many uh, in the industry of isophotolysis and also um, photo degradation. Processes are uh, sometimes a problem and sometimes uh, important. So uh, these are processes. So here are uh, some of the application of the light and I'd like to show this. So for example, uh, as we already talked about in the cosmetics, uh, some screen is used and it's actually include uh, the, some of the inorganic materials, such as zinc oxide or uh, titanium oxide particles. And then in the painting, uh, uh, sometimes uh, the paint is uh, photo uh, curable, meaning the light induced uh, photochemical reaction to make a, a solid material. Uh, 
and then in uh, some old day uh, pictures, uh, black and white photography, uh, where the uh, silver nanoparticle is used for the coloring, not color, but uh, black, make it black. And in uh, medical industrial application and in the treatment of cancer, uh, there's uh, some method, uh, some treatment uh, called uh, photodynamic therapy, which is um, uh, some of the dye molecules are included in the uh, region of your body for cancer, and then uh, light-induced photochemical reaction um, uh, destroys the, the cancer more uh, cancer uh, cells. And then in the environment application, photocatalyst used for um, the cleanup of the 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 wall or, or, or house. And in the energy area, obviously uh, solar cells are frequently used for uh, energy generation and to, to take the electricity. And then the synthesis of chemicals, and again, then the poly, in the polymer, uh, polymer formation, uh, you need a, a polymerization reaction where the radical species are generated by light and uh, adhesive paint printing ink. Um, there are many uh, photo induced chemi photo induced chemical reactions are used. And also in the uh, field of data recording, and you know that optical memory desk like a DVD uh, or Blu-ray and so on, where the, the light induced change of the materials is used for recording the data or information. So blue ray is uh, um, called blue ray because a blue light is used for the recording of the data. And uh, before this, uh, usually a red uh, LED has been used for uh, for recording. So with that, and we are going to uh, study from the very uh, fundamental aspect of the photochemistry until. Uh, till we can uh, understand these kind of uh, uh, photo, uh, photo, pro, photo induced uh, processes or applications could understood, be understood. Okay.